Good morning, Fearless fam. So today I just wanted to catch you up on what's been going on in my life and uh, update you a little bit on the blogs and my business and Abe and everything. So first what I need to do is get some of the energy out of this guy and we're gonna go rip up some cardboard. How does that sound? Cause he doesn't have to move too much for it. Yeah, rip it, rip it. Oh, you're so strong. actually serving a double purpose. It's getting some energy out of Abe in a way that doesn't put too much stress on his leg. And I need him to help me rip up cardboard from all our Amazon packages because we're still working on getting all the recycling out the door from when we moved in. Yeah, help on me. Good boy. Well, that actually didn't last very long, maybe like 10 minutes. I'm just gonna make myself some lunch right now. I know we have a lot of like food leftovers. What should I have for lunch? Oh, you want a jalapeno? Here you go. Mmm. Oh, you can't have, no. <gasps> you big butt. <laughs> I made pork last night and he smells the pork. Okay, get out, get out. All right, so let's start with an Abe update. At the moment, Abe is taking cephalexin, rimadel, gabapentin, and tramadol. Two of these twice a day, three of these twice a day, one of these twice a day, two of these three times a day. The Rimadol is no problem. The Tramadol is usually not a problem, but the two other ones that come in capsule form, so they're like a powder in a capsule, he will not eat those. Eric has been like straddling Abe with his legs, prying open his jaw, and I've been putting just like the tiniest bit of peanut butter on each pill one at a time, and putting it in the back of his throat. And then we close his jaw and wait till he swallows and it, the process is getting faster, but that's literally the only way we can get him to take his pills right now. It's gonna last for about a week, so that's happening right now. Let's go check on Abe. Abe just recently digested all the medicine and this is kind of what happens when he, you know, starts to become like full of medicine. <laughs> he gets really sleepy, which is great for us because he is normally a very hyper dog. Right now he's laying on his stitches, which isn't a big deal. Biggest thing right now is that I really have to keep an eye on Abe to make sure he's not licking his stitches. So this is his right leg. You can see how short his hair is um, because they shaved this part and it's really not that like different. Hair height's pretty much the same. Obviously I'm not gonna make him lift his leg or anything, um, but that gives you an idea of what his stitches look like. I counted the other day, he had 14 stitches in. That's what he looks like post surgery. Abe does have a cone that I could put on him that would keep him from licking his stitches, but it's kind of like too big for his head and he obviously hates wearing it. I don't blame him. So he'll swat at it with his paws until it comes off and I'm worried that if I tie the like string that kind of holds it together, if I tie that too tight, I'm worried that he's gonna try to rip it off one day while we're gone and then like choke himself. I'm, I don't know. I don't know if that's a weird concern. He's able to walk on his own as you saw earlier. He actually has put like near full weight on that leg like i think he has put full weight on that leg which is crazy he's such a beast honestly the first day when we came home i was so anxious i was such a wreck and the biggest reason is just because i couldn't stand to hear him in pain like he's like my little baby and all night that night he was just like panting a lot and he was like whining a lot and he's clearly in pain he couldn't get comfortable and now things are getting a lot easier I don't know if you guys heard lately, but California is storming, like actually kind of heavy rain. Like this is, I would consider this moderate to heavy rain right now. And then there's been a lot of wind. So Californians have been a little cry lately. I haven't been very active this weekend. Today's Monday, if you're curious. So that first day when I was just really anxious, I was more anxious than Abe at that point. And so Eric was like, why don't you, why don't I watch Abe and you can do whatever you want. So. I went and took a shower and I uh, watched some YouTube videos and I just took a long time doing everything and just, I kind of ignored Abe to be honest. I needed to focus on my anxiety at that time. I didn't know what to do with myself. My mind was just like making things up. I can't hear anything when I'm in the shower, but I, my mind was like, oh my God, Abe's whining right now. Like I was just like making stuff up in my head. It was so crazy. I, I'm still not quite sure how people handle that and I'd like to learn how to cope with that because I wanna be a parent, I wanna have kids eventually. And when my kids are hurt or have to go in for a procedure, I wanna be the calm one. I wanna be the confident, peaceful one in the situation and I don't know how to get to that point. So 
that's something that I realized I need to work on and just learn more about over time. So yeah, if you have any questions about Abe's like recovery or what else has been going on like with Abe, let me know. I don't really know what else to say about it. I think he's gonna heal a lot quicker than the original estimate. He gets a stitch is taken out uh, two weeks from the day of the surgery, so it's about a week and a half from now. I'm still struggling right now to learn a good routine for myself or like daily work. And also I've just been working really hard on shifting my mindset from blogging and vlogging as kind of a hobby to a business because the more I put off job searching because I really haven't been job searching, the more I realize I really want this to be a career and I have a shot at it right now. Financially, I'm stressed. <laughs> Like deep down, I really feel like this risk that I'm putting myself in right now and putting Eric and I in financially is going to pay off. I think that this is gonna enable me to live the life I really wanna live and it's really important to me. So, oh, oh, fun thing I wanted to show you. This is the custom paper cut design that I am going to do for our giveaway winner. So Melanie went to Japan and she loved seeing the cherry blossoms and Osaka Castle. So I took a design that was already online with a different kind of building and I inserted Osaka Castle. And there's a lot of details on this building I won't be cutting out, but you can kind of see where I drew over it really crappily. I, don't worry, my paper cutting lines won't be that crappy, but <laughs> I kind of drew over it with in Photoshop and made parts of it black and then blacked out the windows because those are the parts I'm going to be cutting out. So it's kind of hard to imagine it as is right now, but I think it'll be really cool looking when it's all done. I just printed this yesterday, so I'm really excited I'm going to start this tonight. My mom told me that icing him would relax him a little bit, so I just iced him. And I swear, icing his leg has made him more excited. Oh, <laughs> you just want to play. This is Abe walking around on his legs. He's good. He's pretty good. He just, it's, there's a little limp there as there should be. Abe wants to play and he's not supposed to touch his stitches. So I'm supposed to like curb his desire to play and watch him heal properly and do my own work. I'm like, I'm learning, <laughs> figuring this out. It's, it's a hard balancing act, honestly. So today's uploads are going to be a little weird, and yes, I said uploads with an S, like plural, um, because I'm actually uploading two videos today. I wanted to do an update, and I wanted to do Travel Talk Tuesday, and fitting them together actually did not work very well, so I'm splitting them up. So since you're on the update, I did want to give you a little update on what on earth my new YouTube schedule is, because if you've been following me for a while, you know I go in and out of doing daily vlogging, and I had been daily vlogging up until ooh, maybe like last week or less than a week ago. And you may have noticed that the daily vlogging has stopped and has been replaced with a mixture of daily vlogs and lost China footage and just other travel related topics. That's how I'm gonna do it for the foreseeable future. So there's gonna be a new video uploaded every single day, but it's not necessarily gonna be a daily vlog. I've got a whole list of videos that I'm really excited to film and I'm kind of scheduling things out now. So I wanna be doing primarily like informational content that'll help you guys out for your future travels or even just travel stories, you know, things that I've experienced on my travels. I don't think I've talked to you guys much about like my study abroad experience when I went to Ireland. A lot of you guys probably just know me as someone who went to China. Um, but yeah, I've been other places too, so I'd love to share those experiences with you guys. I'm going to be making a lot of videos over the next few weeks, months, I don't know, we'll see. Interspersed in between those just to keep you guys updated are going to be some daily vlogs. I do like daily vlogging, but I just, I feel this pull towards doing these other kinds of videos. My Travel Talk Tuesday video is going to be going up in the next hour or so. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you, I guess, later today. Okay, bye!